Today we find out which series is the best in Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy or GX? What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. As you guys saw, we're doing Legacy versus GX to determine which is the best series. But first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know if you think Legacy or GX is better, which you think is gonna win, which you prefer, etc. And not only is this a Legacy versus GX battle, this is actually a me versus viewer battle because these six, okay, we only have six, so we're gonna explain that. Six tactical evolution packs were bought on Ruxin34.com, so go check that out if you guys wanna buy some old school packs that I have for sale, etc. We do box breaks on there and everything like that. Ruxin34.com. These six packs are for two different viewers. We have five five for ex gamer and one for jerry a so this is going to be pretty fun i also threw in two ots uh tournament 18 on their side because we have eight legacy packs here so we don't want it to be six versus eight so it's eight versus eight we will see who wins the battle we're going to start off with jerry a's pack it's one booster pack a first edition tactical evolution can we pull that ghost rare rainbow dragon if we pull that we are going to lose it because that is an extremely rare expensive card so here we go cocoon party we've got a ritual raven the Neospatian Marine Dolphin, the Light Effigy, the Venom Burn, Venom Serpent, Volcanic Rat, Venom Swamp, and will it be the Ghost Rare? Ooh, a Grass Chopper. So this is a Gemini card. Yeah, not very used, and I don't think they even really print these things anymore, but a Gemini card. When was the last time they actually had a Gemini card, like printed one? Because, I mean... They're really bad. Like, unless you have some sort of a quip or something, it's just not good. We got a Dark Scorpion Gorg the Strong. Incandescent Ordeal. Very nice. We got a Morale Booster. The Despair from the Dark. Non-Spellcasting Area. The Contract with Dark Master. Archfiend's Roar. Mephis the Infernal General. And will we pull something amazing? Sisters of Dogla. So maybe not. <laughs> next up, we are going to do the two OTS. Oh, we're going to do these the, as the next two packs for the GX side and let's see i was gonna say 5d he wanted to say 5ds it's gx incantation pencil plume we got the diverge of the nordic alfar and the phantom knights of break sword that is not a very good super from that set okay that's fine don't worry it's my turn because i want to win anyway because it's my turn like yuki says okay i want to beat the viewers no i'm just kidding I, I would actually be okay if you guys beat me and pulled like a ghost rare. that'd be pretty amazing we got a reign of mercy enchanted javelin let me know in the comments who will win me or the or you guys basically the wing weaver we got the solomon's law book we got bubonic vermin the regulation of the tribe science isn't this card actually like kind of good De declare one type of monster monster declared type cannot attack yeah i mean it's not that bad science soldier i think the maintenance cost is kind of expensive skull invitation and oh we got a grave robber super rare for rooks at 34 boom let's go guys that is a super that's a good start for me that's all i'm saying all right ots 18 let's go what can it do these are just bonus packs i mean they could be tactical evolution you could just imagine they are uh dark <laughs> dark magical circle somebody commented they're like i bet he has a 40 of those dark magical circles i was like yeah good point retainer and an octoidic token this is i think close to a dollar so those token cards are usually worth a little bit if you play the deck it's nice to have them so okay not a bad pull i bet grave robber is not too expensive so we're still probably in the same ballpark right now nobody's winning the battle yet let's see if i can take it away with a genzo we've got a three-headed Guido, the drill bug burning land overdrive we got the infinite dismissal dark fire soldier number one shadow of eyes forced requisition and insect imitation which for a while this was worth like five dollars and then they reprinted it now it's worth like five cents again back to the tactical evolution ghost rare will it be in here will we get a rainbow well, we take a secret rare rainbow i think I, th I don't think anyone would be too mad about that we have a chrysalis penny this is for ex gamer strike slash we got the goggle golem the cocoon of rebirth chrysalis chicky he's always wanted that ancient prophecy ghost rare aka the ancient fairy dragon but I think he'd be okay with the Rainbow Dragon here. Crystal's Chicky, we got the Counter Counter. The Phantom Cricket. The Nex. Double Summon. That's a pretty good card. And... Oh, wait. Wait. You get both a Rare and a Foil in here? I'm not really... I'm not sure. So maybe we should be careful with the Pack Trip. We don't want to ruin it if we get a Ghost Rare. That would actually be more surprising, though. So maybe it would actually be pretty cool. But we're still going to try and avoid that. Okay. Molten Destruction. So at this point, I think I'm still ahead. High Tide at Geogen. I say Geogen, but do, Geogen? Guy. Let me know in. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? Darkness Approaches. We got the Eat Gaboon. Maybe I need to change my pronunciation. Magical Labyrinth. Ryan. 
The Upstart Goblin. That's another point for me. All right, even though we're not going by points, but uh, Flying Kamikiri and the Tyone number two. As you notice, I threw it over here and didn't quite make it. All right, EX Gamer, aka fans, aka viewers. You guys think you can beat me at a pack battle? I've never been beaten at a pack battle. Okay, every time. Ritual Raven, we got the Neospatial Marine Dolphin, the Light Effigy, the Venom Burn, Venom Serpent. Okay. Volcanic Rat. This is a very similar to the first pack we opened. Snake Whistle. The Phalanx Pike. Ah, this guy. And the Cocoon Party. All right, Cocoon Party. Not the best. Okay. We're saving it for the end, hopefully. Spell Ruler. Let's go. Well, maybe not, because I do want to win, but I still want you guys to do it. How about we both do really well? How about that? I'll pull a Seeker Rare. Course of Sanctuary, Molten Destruction, Malevolent Nuzla. We've got the Dark Zebra, the Reliable Guardian, the Kotodama. Gravekeeper Servant, the Giant Rat, and the Magical Labyrinth. The Labyrinth is magical. Very nice. Still three packs to go on each side, I believe. Yeah, I actually counted it right this time, I think. We'll find out. EX Gamer, will he pull a foil? Let's go. Light Effigy, the Amulet of Ambition, the classic card, Venom Boa, Chrysalis Larva, the Venom Burn, Venom Serpent, a Volcanic Rat. Oh, and an Ultra Rare Desert Twister, so you don't get a rare as well. Ultra Rare Desert Twister. Is it just me, or is it every time you open Tactical Evolution, the Ultra Rare is a Desert Twister? I don't know. It just feels like that happens so often. I think they were majorly short shortbreading stuff at this point. That's what it feels like. But Desert Twister is still really cool. Do you guys remember when we bought that box of resealed packs of this for, like, I think it was 80,000 subs? Yeah, that, that was rough. And then the guy was like, sorry, not, get, not getting your money back. Um, I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> On to the next one. Metal Raiders. Yeah, that, that was that was not fun. That was not fun. <laughs> all right, uh, yeah, because they seemed okay, and then we opened them, and then we realized, oh, they're all scratched, like, to crap. There's no way these are out of the back. All right, Mystic Land. We got the Gazelle. Roaring Ocean Snake. So that actually well, that makes this really close here. Ring of Magnetism. We got a Mystic Horseman. The Crass Clown. The water amotics with a shirt on. We got the blade fly. And we got the armored zombie. Check out all that armor, guys. That was Metal Raiders. Nope, Canyon Moth. What a bummer. Two more packs of tactical evolution of Tayev. Come on. EX Gamer. Let's do this. Let's pull you something crazy. We got a cocoon party. The Ritual Rivon. The Marine Dolphin. Oh, we messed that up. The Flint Lock. Rise of the Snake Deity. The Gardener. Confert contact. Oh, and an ultimate rare! Aquarian Alessa! Okay. This is not like a crazy ultimate, but it's an ultimate rare. That's pretty sick. Wow. Check out that texture on it, too. That looks really nice. And you put it in the light. That is very cool. Also, okay. Somebody explained to me. I thought this was like Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! Monsters. What is the monster here? This is just a person with long sleeves on that that like what and flowers like where where's the monster here i don't understand ultimate rare though we'll take it wait now i'm losing now you guys are beating me this is unacceptable this cannot happen all right we have a, a legend blue eyes pack this is going to change everything this is going to bring me back I'm going to get a Blue Eyes White Dragon. We've got an R male, which is a strange warrior who manipulates three deadly blades with both hands and his tail. Three blades. Zoro. All right. Dark Gray. The Power of Kaishin. The One-Eyed Shield Dragon. Lesser Dragon. The Petite Dragon. Silver Bow and Arrow. The Hain Hain. Will we pull the ultimate dragon in terms of attack? No, that's that's the wizard. Never mind. And Terra, the terrible. Yes, he is terrible. All right, one pack left of each. Tactical evolution. I believe that I can fly. All right, here we go. Will we pull a ghost right now? We've already pulled, what, ultra and ultimate out of here? Insane. Let's see what we can pull now. The Goggle Golem. He's wearing goggles. Cocoon Veil. Chrysalis Pan Tail. The Gift of Greed. Venom Burn. Venom Serpent. Volcanic Rat. This is another, the same, the same comments, always. No, Snake Deity's Command. I thought that was not it, but then I remembered we do. Yep, okay. So nothing in that one. All right, so right now they have an Ultimate Rare, an Ultra Rare, and a Token. We have a Super Rare and an Upstar Goblin. We're going to need a big pull here. <sighs> Out of the final pack to beat you guys, to beat EX Gamer and Jerry A and their combined efforts. We will redouble our efforts. Here we go. All right, let's go. 
raised body feet. Raised body feet. That is a different thing. Ash blossoms are not allowed in here, okay? Fire grass. We got an armored starfish. The basic insect. What does the flavor text say? Usually found traveling in swarms. This creature's ideal environment is the forest. Okay. He likes hanging out in the forest. Makes sense. The drooling lizard. You love to see him. What does he say? A blood sucking snake in human form that attacks any living being that passes by. Wow. Blood sucking. Wait, snake? He's a lizard. He's not a snake. Oh, that's weird. Okay. All right. King fog. That's concerning. The electro whip. The Fissure, good rare. And what will the final card be? Will I beat you guys in a pack battle? Probably not, though. Um, let's see. Frenzied Panda. All right. Fine. Fine. You guys beat me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Full Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musu, Jim Barney, Ananda Tai Show, JT Cho, and David Efter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.